Excuse me? Well, that's your name, right? It's on your jacket. All right, fine, I'll just call you Bailey then. You think you're charming in that talented, neurotic, overly moose hair sort of way, good for you. But if you think I'm gonna stand back and watch while you favor her... I don't favor her, she's good. Yeah, I'm sure she is. You know, can I point out that technically, I'm your boss. You don't scare me. Look, I'm not gonna advertise your extracurricular activities with my intern. However, the next time I see you favoring Meredith Gray in any way, I'll make sure she doesn't see the inside of an OR for a month. Just for the sake of balance. Mr. Lavandri, the Parkinson's patient. Is he a good candidate for DBS? Yes, but he's not interested. Okay, but I think it's worth talking to him again, pushing him. We're talking about a brain surgery. It is performed while the patient is wide awake. There is a risk of paralysis, a risk of death, and the patient doesn't want it. It is not my job to push him into anything, and it's definitely not yours. Okay. Since you're clearly uncomfortable with my decision in this case, it's probably best you don't scrub it. But... It's a minor procedure. You won't be missed. You know, they call you the Nazi. So I've heard. Dr. Conserva, 3742. Dr. Conserva, 3742 status. Dr. Bailey. I didn't know that he was my boss when I met him. I didn't know. I don't care. Really? Oh, well, you sort of seem to not be talking to me, so I... You, you see this? What's happening right here? Hey, this is the problem with you sleeping with my boss. Not whether or not you knew him before, but how it affects my day. And me standing here talking to you about your sex life affects my day. And the longer this little fling goes on, the more favors you get over the others who are fighting tooth and nail just to make it through this program without any assistance. When those people start finding out what's going on and they don't want to work with you and talk to you or look at you and they start bitching and moaning at me, the more it affects my day. So no, Dr. Gray, I don't care what you knew or when you knew it. We understood? Yes. 